Hi Steve, cheers for coming on today mate and giving me some of your time, how you doing? No worries, I'm all good thank you, you? Yeah I'm good, cheers buddy. Um, basically just a few questions I wanted to sort of go through with you. Um, obviously I know you do your boxing, mm -hmm. um, didn't you have a fight on the weekend? I did yeah. Yeah, who was that against? Oh blimey, that's a lot, I can't remember the name, it was, he boxes for England, had 91 fights um, and won more than I've actually boxed, so it was a really good contest really to be fair, especially because I've been out for two years, yeah. so it's just good to prepare myself for the Harringay which is coming up next Saturday in Alexander Palace in London which is a European tournament, oh, cool. so um, for me it was, it was icing on the cake really, it was for a title, heavyweight title fight um and uh to to get the ring rust out really to get me sharp again and see what we could work on within next week brilliant man well so i'm assuming that obviously you, it was just sort of a ring rust you know get the ring rust out it wasn't um obviously you didn't win the title as they say no but no i mean to be honest with you it was more to like say uh, the title was more of an icing on the cake but when you're going against people when i've had i've had 40 some fights when you're going against people that uh, are, are boxing for England and you know are competing to be trialed for England yeah. or getting fire in ABA titles, I mean you got to remember these titles are won by all the professionals that you know today. Joe Kawasaki won it 11 times. Ricky Hatton's won it. Floyd Mayweather's won it. Yeah. These these are not these are not people that you're going to be you know oh, it's just a fight or it's yeah, just someone. Yeah, yeah. I, I shouldn't fight. have been in with him really. To be fair, it shouldn't have been matched up. But because we're so close to European um, European tournament in Harringay, I had to take the opportunity, and the title was just icing on the cake. But you know, I've done really well, boxed really well. It's just that sharper kids, a different day, different time, different ring. It could be completely nice. different. Yeah. So, um, what inspired you to sort of begin in the in sort of the boxing world, in the sense of things? Was there like a uh... A re like is it something you've always been passionate about or was there kind of a moment in your life that maybe pushed you towards you know learning how to how to box I mean to be honest boxing I've always had I've always wanted to do sport and um, I've done it when I was a kid for about 11 um, I, I didn't compete though and then obviously grew up a little bit and then moved to Hastings and then just got involved in it really sport is one thing that I take you know a lot I'm very very passionate about and with this sport, we've got to have a really supporting family, which I have now. You know, I've got a missus, and we're getting married next year. I've got two kids, and she's let me box all the way through since we've had our children. So it's important for me, and it's important to my family as well. Yeah, no, that's good, man. So obviously, you know, you've got, got your family, um, etc., and I assume, you know, you're also working as well. Um, mm -hmm. So obviously what keeps you motivated to like train and stay in shape because obviously I know maybe time may be limited sometimes but yeah I'm sure you still like a you know within reasonable shape you've you boxed on the weekend you know fitness is obviously key there um, so yeah I mean motivated really I mean for, to be honest really it's a, it's a motivation to to achieve your dream I mean it's always good to to be able to be a champion you know around your area south east the midlands and you got up north you know and it it's like an addiction for me it's it's, it's take being a part of it being being around it having the having having the bug for it it's it's just motivation you know persistence in and achieving things you know winning a fight is is a is a bloody good buzz you know and yeah. anyone will tell you that UFC fighter martial arts kickboxer it is it's that preparation of a one-on-one -on -one, your opponent let's let's have it out you know mm -hmm. and amateurs you know they don't they don't train like the professionals professionals have a camp between six to nine weeks to 12 weeks to stop study one fighter and yeah. they'll work around that they have the finance for it and it's difficult for amateurs to be able to do that you know we, we box all year round and we have to do it around normal jobs so yeah it's difficult but I love it so you know if you love something keep on doing it you know yeah that, brilliant mate it's good to see that you're like truly passionate about something that you know you're doing a lot of people sort of do sport as a hobby or whatever and you know um, I can use like the fitness industry for an example there's people out there have a real buzz and an energy to get into shape and you know dedicated all the time and then you get sort of your clients that sort of tiptoe in and out every now and then you know but obviously you still got to sort of give your all to, to each individual I guess um, yeah I mean for definite with with that yourself I mean 
so you have to dedicate yourself 150 percent and you have to give it your all and but then on the other side i appreciate what you're saying you, you get people tiptoeing out we get that in the gym people come in want to keep fit want to lose weight and there's people that want to do it but don't want to commit to it i mean yeah. you can play football you can play rugby but you can't play boxing you can't do that and that's the difference between someone that wants to do it oh I fancy doing it to someone that actually really wants to do it yeah and that's the addiction for me that gives me to get up and go getting up in the mornings and running doing a dieting but then you know like i said to you before support as well is well needed in it because it is a, it's a solo sport mate you can't mm. do it with your buddy or your best pal start running together because that bloke may let you down you must get that as well when you go to the gym people might you pee up someone you want to go to the gym and then they can't bother to go and you're just like oh it's a solo sport and for me it's a, you know you've got to be 150 percent committed yeah so you um obviously touched on about like running and you know the eating side of things um just sort of uh if you if you're okay with it is to um give us sort of a brief insight into your like daily routine so uh maybe on a day i mean i don't i assume that you don't train five days a week but on a day that you know you do train um you know, just give give us a quick insight of maybe what you do, so from the morning to maybe the evening. Yeah, okay. Well, basically, obviously, I run my own business, so I, I have the flexibility to do that. I train four times a week, which is a Wednesday, a Friday, Sunday, and then individually my own running. Um, and what I eat now, I used to diet all the time. I used to be chicken breasts, you know, just cut carbs and just trim more, more you're burning calories all the time with this high intensity circuit, bag work, sparring. I mean, I'm doing free freeze now, and that's you know that's nine minutes worth of fighting with a 30 second break in between. Yeah. And you do get tired, you do get lethargic, but it's just repetition. You just got to keep on going and, and keep on moving, and you know, and that's for me is the key. Is it, that's the addiction. Like I saying, going back to the last question, is it's keeping it going, keep moving forward all the time. So. You know, diet is very, very important, but depending on what weight you are, you look at all the heavyweights now, I mean, they eat the right things for body repair and stuff like that, and, yeah. you know, drinking lots of water, you've got to drink lots of water, which, you know, but it's difficult. Not a lot of people can afford diets, you know, and that's that's the key of it, you know. You, you, what can you do when you haven't got the finance for it? So yeah. that's why boxing amateurs is, is, it is, you know, it's hard to get in and it's hard to maintain because some people can't afford it. No, agreed. Um, so, what are your future sort of plans and goals within sort of the boxing area? Are you gonna, I mean, um, I don't know what age you're sort of coming up to now. You, you know, all of those things you've got to take into account. And are you planning to box for like another five years, two years? You know, what are you doing? You know, where where's your goals? Where where's your future plans? Where where are you yeah. going? What That's a good question, to? really. For me, it's I'm taking it year by year now. I'm 29. Um, you know, my business is getting bigger, and, it, and my kids are getting bigger as well. So, and they they start taking interest in what I do. So I'll probably do year in every year, see how it goes. Because the people that are coming through now, like I say, I'm not boxing chumps anymore. These are people that are competing for ABA titles, winning, winning titles, and and boxing for England. You know, and you know sometimes you have to think about, well, am I actually going to do any? Doing, am I going to be able to compete with them because yeah. it takes a lot of dedication so I probably will do it year in just see it take a year by year and then do my coaching course which I'm going in process now yeah brilliant um, so where where are you currently boxing at the moment anyways what sort of club are you at uh, I box for I've been doing boxing around about 9-10 years now I used to box for West Hill Boxing Club um, I done. I got to the final of the Harringay Cup in the 86 uh, kilo category a couple of years back. Uh, took two years out um, just to rest and catch up on other things. Yeah. And now I box at Bexhill ABC, okay. um, and I've been training with them for over about six months now. So, yes, yeah, things are looking good. And what Sorry. days and times do they do they run? Uh, like I said before, we do Wednesdays, Fridays, and then Sundays. Yeah. And is that in the evenings or? Yeah, yeah, Wednesdays and Fridays are evenings and Sunday morning. Brilliant. Well, um, cheers for coming on, taking the time to come on and answer some questions and that and give your views about like the sport and how you're sort of maintaining your you know, lifestyle around your passion. Um, mm -hmm. Anyone out there who's watching or whatever, anyone who's taking time to watch, get down to Bexhill Boxing Club um, if, you wanna, you know, if you've got a passion for boxing. 
Um, and if you're looking to get into shape, obviously contact me and um, hopefully I can help you do that. But cheers for coming on, Steve. No worries. Thank you very much. Take care, mate. Bye. Bye.